Hello, uh, this is ML Matrix, and today I'm going to start the Black Ops 2 campaign. And this is actually live commentary, so I didn't put this in afterwards, okay? So we're sure to continue. And we're just playing on recruit just for the feelings, you know, for the story and stuff like that. <coughs> I played it through once and I actually heard that you can get a alternative ending if you're doing different things so I'm going to do try to do the campaign uh, in a different way uh, that I did last time so this is the main character one of the main characters uh, David Mason I think or section uh, I think they call him section so but uh, they are visiting a old friend you will recognize him if you played Black Ops 1 it's Woods and if you have seen the trailers for this game then you probably know who Raul Menendez is <clears throat> That's that guy. This campaign is actually one of my favorite campaigns in overall. Like, I actually played all the Call of Duty campaigns and actually like this one the most. This and Modern Warfare 2. I actually <laughs> that's why uh, I actually like Ghost in that. In Modern Warfare 2. And excuse me for my bad English, but I will see what I can do about that. Maybe I will learn to speak English better, but we'll see. If you have information about a threat to national security, you gotta tell us. Yeah, and he's going to tell like a backstory of what happened and how he survived and. Yeah, stuff like that. Dad, I'm scared. I, I need help. That's the character you play as in Call of Duty Black Ops 1. I think it's Alex Mason. And yeah, he the kid's name is David. It's the other guy. David Mason and Alex Mason. If I remember correct. <coughs> Ooh. And you, if you played, like I said before now, the first Black Ops, you would recognize the guy on the l in the middle of there. It's, uh, what was his name? <laughs> I had it in my, my head just a second ago. Uh, Hudson, yeah, Hudson. It's <laughs> so, the guy who's a wannabe Miami... CSI Miami guy, you know, with the glasses and yeah, you understand what I mean. That's kind of cold-blooded, say you know, cold-hearted. Like you can, uh, Jenny can can take care of him like before. He doesn't care. Of course, the kid cares. And now, mission briefing. You actually can customize your loadout. I don't know. I actually want to put on selective fire because I don't like the FAL or fall with full auto. I don't like that. Uh, yep, I got everything I can have and want there. So, so yeah, now I'm going to be play as Mason Alex. So <coughs> start level. It's very interesting, you know, this campaign, I and I heard it's the same writer to this campaign that uh, wrote the Batman movies. I think the, it's the new ones, you know, Dark Knight and Dark Knight Rises, and the guy with and the film with the with the Joker in. 
It was something about that. I'm not sure which one of them he wrote, or he maybe he wrote every every single one of them. I don't know. But this is a, this is my favorite campaign. I like that guy, Savimbi. Savimbi. Yeah, but actually he did not try to help you, so that's because he's hardcore. Give them a fight. Okay, I actually can look for myself a little bit here, like said no, and yes. So if you like the uh, uh, how m if the picture is good for you, like if you can play the video in 720 pixels, you know, HD on YouTube, just press the like button if you want me to continue with this walkthrough. And if you like my videos, I'm going to play like zombies too, actually. I'm going to try to like go through all the easter eggs and just you know for the zombies story so you can see for yourself if you haven't seen the zombie story I actually like the zombie story a lot my favorite character in zombies Rich often so I like that he's the new zombie leader but it's kinda of boring too that you can't play as him anymore because he had some random and awkward comments when you were playing and now I'm playing at with half automatic so I'm shooting myself right now I actually feel it's like when you see the weapon you wanna shoot for yourself you know see this weapon as a full automatic it's not FAL anymore and I was just adjusting my share a little better tried to throw a grenade and I actually think you can access a truck here yeah there. Actually, noticed this when I played this map one, uh, one time before. Okay. Uh, so now I'm going to get the targets. Select more tars, and I hope I will get them. The yeah. Down. First try. Like aimbot in the campaign. That's fun. It's coming, and I'm going to... Mason has to... Like... Defend himself right now. He would probably be able to do that. I got all the tanks. That's awesome. Yeah. He did defend himself. And I saved that guy's ass. MG trucks. Now it's full automatic again. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't know why, but it's just me, maybe. Prefer it. Now they are down. I prefer as a half automatic you have to click yourself. Because I like, I got a okay trigger finger. So, yeah, okay, call in air support. Don't try to destroy every tank over here. People said like it's hard, but I think I have done it before, like two or three times. I play this map map a lot. I don't know why, but I have done it. Like that, I destroyed every tank. Not that hard. And Savim be hard to kill a guy. Of course, the main character always has to, or he's not a main character, but a, like important character at the moment has to do something cool. It's, it's sort of like a original Call of Duty. We, we must finish them. I like that guy. Okay, now I can put on full auto. Just show how hardcore we are. And I think, I don't know if I'm going to like, stop at the lake, 
for this first part, you know, when you... I'm not going to spoil anything, but I think where I'm going to stop, because I can record up to, like, I don't know how long time, they it just said, like, over 50 minutes, and I don't know if they have another limit for, like, 30 minutes or something, so we'll see when I pause this episode. I think one of the guys yelled Savimbi. I like that guy. He's so happy all the time. And you can actually guess who that is. Actually, almost could have guessed already the first time. Like. A dangerous man, it's of course going to be the m main bad guy. The main bad guys, as you saw at the beginning, is Raul Menendez. A great map. Resno, I actually love Resno. That character is like, he's awesome. I really like that guy. So there you see how Woods actually survived in Black Ops 1. When he jumped out, when they, uh, when he was holding the grenade, the other guy threw away the grenade, so that's how they actually survived, but Woods got hit, so it's not impossible, but we could not have seen foreseen that before we saw this video, because everybody thought like, oh, he had some shield or something, he had like the bad guy as a shield or something like that but I didn't know what I was supposed to believe when I saw the trailer for this game and I'm going to jump off right now and of course a dramatic scene classic Call of Duty Poof. yep so standing up and you see where it says access if you don't have the access kit I don't think you can actually access those extra stuff I think it's a flat jacket though under there. I'm not sure. But I think so. If I remember right. I caught him but nothing happened. Like that. So I think it's a flat jacket. I don't know. Yup, it was. He puts it on very fast. And this is this can be actually kind of dizzy for your head if you're looking. Some some of my friends actually don't like watching this part because it's shaking, you know. But that may be the, that that depends on how big TV you have. Is it bigger? I think it looks more annoying actually. And there comes a guy there. This map is fun, but I actually don't have a bot there. But it's always going to be dramatic scenes in Call of Duty. Just need to accept it. Oh, there's one down there. I hate that I can't reach that guy. Try and shoot him. Yeah, I could have done that. 
Oh, we're clear now. Okay, nice. And here we go. Yeah, I'm already here. And of course, I'm playing on Xbox. I actually prefer this game on Xbox. I don't know why. Just Call of Duty is like fast-paced gaming. I think it's great on Xbox or PlayStation 3. But games like Battlefield, those games you should play on pl PC. They are much funnier there. But I, I don't actually see that much of a difference of playing Call of Duty on PC or console. Frank. So... He looks like hammered Frank. shit. It's me! It's me, Mason! He looked it's like he was us. starting to... He was almost start, starting to cry. <laughs> it looked like that. Must smell good in there. And actually, I can say something here. Uh, after this checkpoint, or how I should say it, I'm going to end the video. And I'm going to miss this too far away, of course. Poof. Come on. Perfect hit. Both perfect hit. And he just disappeared and I disappeared. <laughs> okay, some sort of lag or something. What is going under Mason? I'll get him. And there is Woods. So that's nice. That's awesome. I actually have to seem to land. The boat is sinking. And I I got him up on the PLA foot soldier in the area. Yeah, up here. So just going to lift him up there. And then I'm going to I think I'm going to end the episode. Come on, Woods, I got you. Like that checkpoint reach. So when we're standing on when I'm standing up with Woods again, then I'm going to pause the game and Yeah. So thank you for watching and like and subscribe. That would be awesome and great. So thank you. Have a nice day and oh right. If you wanna see more just post a comment down there and tell me what you what you like uh, what you thought about this was it good what was bad and actually give me some tips if you think if, if you think it's that bad but thanks for watching and like and subscribe if you want to.